This is my 10 year old rice cooker, steamer, Cuisinart. It has served me well, but you can see here the mess that comes out of it. This isn't even, this has been wiped down. This little cooker does a great job with white rice. And that's all it's really designed for. But I like to make brown rice, and especially gaba rice. And no matter what I do, no matter how long I soak the rice, I wash it, I try to get all the starch out, the gaba rice just boils over all this slimy mucus comes out of it it's it's gross but yet i have been cooking brown rice in this thing for years and i finally got sick of it i've been using a rice cooker but a cheap one if you consider this one a cheap one this was probably forty dollars but i've used one of these for years and years and years. I had one before this that was even cheaper. But no more. This old girl is going into the trash and I am awaiting the arrival today of my Japanese rice cooker, which UPS should be delivering at any moment. So the next time you see this view on this section of my counter will be my new baby and we're going to cook some gaba brown rice properly for the first time so stay tuned and voila through the magic of amazon and the ups man excited. I have looked at these for years. Zoshirushi NP GBC05. Induction heating. It's the little one. The little three cup. There's only two of us in the house. I am forever throwing away rice the next day because <clears throat> even that little uh, Cuisinart that I had, I think that was like a six cup and I just always make too much rice. This is the little, little three cup. It will make three cups of white rice. cups of mixed rice, or two cups of brown, three cups of sushi rice, I'm going to make some daba brown rice, first time, I've watched a bunch of videos on these, it's, uh, I've glanced through the instructions, but I've uh, watched quite a few of the uh, Zojirushi website videos and uh, I will need to figure out how to use the timer settings but I just uh, when I plugged it in I fixed it to my local time and that was easy just using these buttons um, like I said I will need to figure out because I do want to use the timer setting Put my rice and water in here in the morning and set it for uh, having rice at, uh, at dinner time. But I am pretty sure I can just set this up for Gaba Brown. And I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to get it set up. I've already washed the bowl. 
dried it out, cleaned this real well, and uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and show you the rice that I'm going to use. Here's my, uh, my gaba brown rice, and I did use exactly two cups with the measuring cup that came with the rice cooker. Have this uh, Japanese rice washer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it out. I'm gonna wash this and rinse it really well, and then it'll go into the. So I rinsed the rice really well. Got a lot of the starch off of there, and uh, there's no need to soak it because the rice cooker is gonna do that. Now I'm gonna transfer this into the. Rice cooker's bowl, and then fill to the uh, appropriate level of water for two cups. All right. There's the washed rice in the bowl, and water level up to the two cup mark for brown rice. Bowl back into the machine. Close the top. Got my menu menu setting on Gaba Brown. And I'm gonna push the cooking button. That should be it. Heard that annoying little music. Apparently you can turn that off. I don't know if I'll I'll do that or not. But that is uh, about 10 minutes, uh, no, a half an hour after this thing arrived at the door. And uh, just pushed the button for my first batch of Gabba Brown. And I will be back periodically to give you an update, and especially when it's finished. This is the rice that I'm using. This is... There is no English on this bag. I buy this at the... Uh, my local H Mart Korean grocery store. All I know that it has non-pesticide. Don't know what that means. But this is Gaba. It's excellent, but I don't think I've ever had it cooked right. So I'm really, uh, really anxious to see. When I cook uh, regular brown rice, and I will try that next, I use this uh, GMO free Haru Haru California medium, medium grain brown rice. back checking in it has been about two hours since I hit that cook button and I have learned something by reading through the instruction guide about the gappa rice setting and I did know ahead of time as I've seen other videos that talk about the gappa rice taking three hours or more to cook and I didn't know why it took so long but now I do because for the first two hours the rice cooker says it is kept at 104 degrees excuse me for the shake in the camera 104 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours and what this does is activates the GABA and uh, then for the next hour, I guess it's the cooking. And sure enough, I don't think it's going to pick up on this camera, but for the first time in two hours, steam is coming out of the steam vent. I'm not going to be able to pick that up. Maybe you can see the steam. 
And for the first time since I started this, let me just steady this camera and see if you can. There's steam coming out of there. And not just steam, but the most incredible smell. I've been cooking GABA rice in that Cuisinart unit for several years and I have never smelled this gorgeous, nutty aroma that is coming out of this machine. So, uh, this is really incredible and exciting. I know this is going to be an amazing batch of rice. Um, stay tuned. Okay, you can see that little zero. The chime just went off telling me that it is complete. It is uh, 10 after 6. I pushed this button at 255 and it's 10 after 6. So that is uh, almost exactly 3 hours and 15 minutes. Just like the manual said said it would take between three hours and three hours and 15 minutes so it took literally exactly three hours 15 minutes the cooking light turned off the keep warm button turned on and there was actually a little countdown I didn't even notice it until the very end I think there is a little countdown that maybe starts at five or five minutes when I looked at it, there was a one right here. And I realized, oh, maybe that's counting down minutes or something. I, I, I'm gonna have to read up on that. But I looked at it, it had the one, and I went over to get the camera. And in the meantime, the, uh, the little music played that it, was, that it was finished. So, I have not opened this. The top of this is very warm. They tell you the many warnings not to go near the steam vent, but uh, yeah, this is warm. I've got my spatula, and you are going to see this the same time I am. Open that up. There is a gala brown rice. First batch. tell you to do this, to fluff it up and release some of the excess moisture out of there. But there is, a, I can see, there is complete consistency and uniformity. There is no scorched rice at the bottom. It smells in incredible. It's, it, for the last hour, it has smelled like I am roasting, uh, you know, some kind of nuts in my kitchen. It is just the nuttiest, most delicious smell you can ever imagine. All right, I'm going to get a bowl of this and give it a taste. Here we go. First bowl, first taste. Of GABA rice cooked the right way for the very first time, at least for me. Got a really nice consistency. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. Very nice and soft. It's really uh, almost a uh, you know, hot brown rice can be kind of chewy, a little bit hard. This is uh, it is really opened up, but it is not. It is not mushy. It's got a great texture. It 
it's it sticks together, but I wouldn't call it mushy or sticky. You can separate it really well. It has beautiful consistency to it. It is really delicious. Very nutty. It smells just as good as it, or it tastes just as good as it smells. Wonderful. Look at the way it just holds on to chopsticks. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful. So pleased with the very first batch. And I'm glad you uh, could join me. I'll, uh, maybe I'll try some mixed grains next. Uh, probably even try some white rice. But uh, for now, I just, this is amazing to me. My first real experience with some gaba rice. Thank you all. Eat well, be healthy.